Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your fifth Flexbox tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about the Flex Wrap property. Gang. So what I've done is revert the CSS back to how we had it a couple of tutorials ago where I've stripped out the grow and shrink properties on each of these items. They're still all flex items because this container still has the display type of flex and they're still exhibiting that default behavior of flex items where they sit next to each other like that in a row. Okay. So what I want to talk about in this tutorial is the flex wrap property. And to do that, what I've done is I've bumped up that minimum width to 200 pixels on each one. I also want to apply a flex grow property to each one and give them all a rate of one. So they're going to grow equally to fill up the space available. So what happens when we shrink the page? Well, we know the default behavior is for the items to shrink like that, but it's going to reach a certain point whereby the green one starts to go off the page and to see it we have to kind of scoot over like that. Now that is pretty shoddy. I would not like to visit a website where I needed to do that to see the content. So we can kind of tackle this by using the flex wrap property. And by the way, it's doing this because it's reaching a point where they can no longer shrink any further because we've specified a minimum width of 200 pixels. So when it reaches a point whereby these guys reach 200 pixels in width, they're going to say, no, I ain't going to shrink anymore because you've told me that my minimum width is 200 pixels. And that's fair enough. But we still don't want it to go off the page. So that's where flex wrap comes into play. So what we can do is we can say, well, I tell you what, that's fair enough. You don't need to shrink anymore. But instead of going off the page like this, what I want you to do is when you reach your minimum width, I want you to wrap to the next line. So an element's going to go, OK, boom, down here like that. And it's going to wrap to this next line and take up all the available space there instead. So let's do that. The way we would do it is go up to the container and we apply the flex wrap property to that because that's the container of these elements and it's going to control the wrapping of those elements. So we'll say flex hyphen wrap and we'll set this equal to wrap like that. So now when we shrink it beyond that 200 pixels minimum width, what they're going to do is say, well, OK, I'll just wrap to the next line like that. And because of this flex grow property that each one of these elements has, this property that wrapped to the next line or this element rather that wrapped down here is going to grow to all the available space. And likewise, when we shrink further and one of these two elements at the top reach that minimum width of 200 pixels, it's going to do the same thing. And one of them is going to wrap to the next line. And now they're all taking up the available space because of this grow property, right? So that is pretty awesome. I mean, we've got some nice responsive behavior there by just adding in this flex wrap property and not using any media queries whatsoever. That is pretty awesome. And I mean, if you can't get excited about that, I don't know what you can get excited about. But there we go. So that is this flex wrap property. And we can have different values for this wrap uh, property. We can have wrap hyphen reverse. And that is going to do kind of the opposite. What would you expect? So at the minute, if we just have wrap, then this green goes down below. If we reverse it, it does the opposite thing. It goes above instead. So let's have a look. So now the green is at the top and the red and the blue wrap to the bottom. OK, and if we go further, then we're going to get the blue in the middle and the red at the bottom. So it's kind of doing things the opposite way. All right. And the other property, which is just no wrap, is the default behavior. If we didn't have this property at all, it would be no wrap. And this is the guy that just says, hey, I'm not going to wrap you because I'm pretty lazy. Just scroll if you want to see me. So we don't want that. That's the default behavior. So I prefer just to set this to wrap like that. And then everything just wraps to the next kind of row when you need it to. Pretty cool, right? So there we go, guys. That is the flex wrap property. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, don't forget to share, subscribe and like. And I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial. <laughs>